Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Cannon with a short video on a procedure to cover uncomfortable exposed root structure by simply uh, moving the gum tissue down. First thing after anesthesia is we use a sterile burr to clean the root structure. Then we use EDTA, which is a cleanser, to decalcify, remove any debris from the exposed root structure, allowing a surface we can reattach gum tissue to. Using chlorhexidine, we disinfect the gum tissue and the exposed root. After that, we follow through with a modified instrument that loosens this attachment, allows us to clean out the sulcus, remove any debris we might find. Although normally, yeah, all this is very, very clean before we start. We do a lot of time in preparation. She's actually watching a movie while we're doing this. And we're loosening up the papilla, the tissue in between the teeth, very carefully so there's no trauma. This is done so carefully that the patients often require very little pain medication afterwards. Now there's about a millimeter recession on this young patient on both the incisors. Canine has two to three millimeters of recession and there's three plus millimeters of recession on the premolars that we're treating. So we loosen up the tissue and we cleanse it with sterile saline that you see coming in rinsing. And once the tissue is loosened, we make a little pinhole with a large bore needle, similar to what's used for uh, doing facial attachments, you know, in a, at a tattoo parlor, but a very sterile, clean one, of course, surgical one. And we use a specially designed instrument to loosen up the attached tissue, and we bring it downward back onto the root surface. Now, this takes a little bit of time, and there's a lot of noise being made, so we always warn the patients. You're going to hear some noises and scraping stuff, so we turn up the movie really well. And they don't feel anything, so we just sit there and watch the movie while we gently bring down... It does take some work. It takes a little time, especially going through like a frontal attachment right there. I'm showing you with my finger. But we bring that attachment down and the gum tissue down so the root structure is completely, the root surface is completely covered. We go back in with our modified instruments and we have the tissue now loose and it's coming down beautifully. But it wouldn't stay there unless we did something to make it stay. And we want to loosen it and bring it down. And there's lots of attached tissue being brought down now on top of that root. And those, these root surfaces are often very sensitive until you've had this procedure done. Again, rinsing with sterile saline, making sure that we keep everything very clean. And we have the root structure totally covered now by the attached tissue. Once we get it teased down, as you see, I'm moving it down gently. We start packing in collagen material. Now, this collagen can come from three different sources. There's porcine collagen, which comes, of course, from pigs, and bovine, which comes from cattle. And there's also ovine, which comes from sheep. And this sterile material is carefully packed up underneath the sulcus, and it plumps back out the tissue, making it thick like it used to be. And we're, this tissue is all very thin. A lot of times we see this post-orthodontic um, when the teeth have been expanded out, the arch has been expanded to get rid of crowding, and then the roots are out there a little bit far on the uh, bony structure, and it's thin, and the gum tissue tends to recede. So now we're packing in there. Now watch how I use this modified spoon again to take it back, that instrument, and I repack it from the other direction. And now how thick and beautiful and back to normal that gum tissue is plunk back up. Now we have to do a lot of it from above through those little pinholes and we thread it down there and in between the teeth into that little area called the papilla area that pulls the gums down and keep, oh look at that, see? As you can see, all that root's being completely covered there. As we pack down in between the canine and that first premolar and we carefully make sure it's all covered on the incisor and you can see the gingiva is completely covering all the exposed root. It's nice and thick back to normal. And we can go in and make sure everything is looking good aesthetically, which is of course not the reason we did this. It was to prevent severe issues later. And then we use a surgical adhesive, the same surgical adhesive that would be used in, uh, in the operating room 
to uh, attach the tissue and to seal it so bacteria can't crawl in there it, into the graft area. See how nice it all looks? And there's no bleeding, you notice that? There's nothing going on. And after we put on the surgical adhesive, we then apply the Severtec Plus.